Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to use Git clone to copy a remote repository. In this case, we're going to be taking a look at a remote GitHub repository. So to do this tutorial, I'm going to be copying a repository from GitHub. I've got my little Ubuntu instance here. Um, I've opened up a browser. You can see my GitHub repository. My GitHub repository itself is just uh, github.com slash Cameron MCNZ. And you'll notice that there's a, a number of repositories listed here, both in the overview and the repository listing. And the one I wanted to clone was this one, Rock, Paper, Scissors. If you take a look at it, there's a file called game.html. Um, also a source folder that's got all of my Java code in it. And some other interesting things, if you actually take a look at the repository, you'll notice that there are... 86 commits, 5 branches. We'll take a look at the different branches there. So we've got Master Dragon Feature Fix 1 and Patch 1. Um, and all of these commits, all of these branches, when you do a clone, it actually all got, gets brought down locally. So you'll get a whole history with all of the commits. You'll get a, a remote reference to each of these branches as well. So it's not just the master that comes down, but it's, it's everything that you need to, to work with the repository when you do a normal clone. Now, how do you do a clone? Well, you'll see right there, there's that button there that says clone or download. You click on that, it gives you a URL. You can do a control copy to move that to the clipboard. You can also just click on that little copy to clipboard button. Uh, that puts this URL to the clipboard. I believe this one has a .git extension. And then you just open up your terminal window. And there's my terminal window here. You might want to just make sure that git is installed. A little git version command will tell you that. If you don't have git installed, uh, I believe it just says, hey, just do a, a sudo apt-get install command on the, the on git, and that will automatically install it locally. It only takes a, a few seconds. But anyways, how do you do a git clone? So, um, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to say git clone, and then you just pa paste in that URL. Like, it's, it's really couldn't be easier. You do the clone operation. I think I got a couple of image files or something in this repository, so it may take a, a second or two to download it. And there we go. It's all downloaded. If I do an ls command, we can see there's this rock, paper, scissors folder. I can cd in there by saying cd rockstar. Now you can see all the files like game.html, Jenkins file, and that source folder as well. And these are all the different files that I showed you before. See, there's game.html over in the GitHub repository. And you can see it right here. Um, if you do something like git log, you can actually see a whole history of all of the, the different commits. So, you know, there's one from May 15th, 2019. Um, so you can see you're getting the whole history of commits, just the letter Q will exit you out of there. And then also, I always do that, git branch all. Uh, you can see if you ask for a listing of all the different branches, uh, git branch all, it'll say, hey, there's a bunch of different remote branches, dragon feature fix master patch one. And again, those all map to the dragon feature fix patch one branches that are listed over on GitHub. I don't want to talk too much about uh, branching here, but you can say git branch checkout checkout fix git branch git, sorry not git branch check git checkout fix and you can see now uh, we've switched to the branch fix. And if I do a git a git ref log I'll actually say now off the the head is actually pointing at the, the fix branch. So originally it was at master, and now we're pointing at fix. So it's just that easy to, to move between branches and, and take a look at all the content. And of course, all of this is brought locally. And so if I want to work on that particular branch, I can do that all locally. And then when I'm done, push to the server. Anyways, those are some advanced steps. The key here was how do you... Um, clone a remote GitHub repository and bring that onto your local machine. And as you can see, it really is just as simple as doing that git clone command and pointing to the URL that you get when you click on this clone or download button over on GitHub.